Hello guys, this is Teapot Guides and in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going into uh, variable scopes. The reason why I wanted to go into variable scopes is because it's a really important uh, subject uh, for us to explore uh, the way which uh, variables are organized within our code. Uh, we need to understand this because um, let's just say that uh, if variables uh, could be accessed anywhere on our code it's going to be really difficult for us to find unique names for each variable that um, the name still uh, has a meaning to what the values are going to be and when I say scope uh, in this tutorial what I'm trying to refer to is uh, the section of code that has access uh, to a declared variable and um, the variables that we could declare are local variables and uh, we can also declare uh, instance variables I'm going to start off by just showing you guys a um, quick uh, coding I'm not going to write the whole code so I'm going to write public and you guys should know what the rest of the code should be public class then the name of your class then we've got these and that's the start of the class and this is the end of the class and now here we've got our main method so our local variables what they would be is they would be declared after the start of your main method code and before the end of your main method code um, so it would basically be declared inside your main class or other methods within your class so it'll be declared here and um, a disadvantage to this is that uh, none of the other methods within your class could actually access this declared variable and also if you was to assign a value to this variable uh, and this uh, the method was to uh, the code within the method was to be executed and um, the code then the code the execution was to leave the method then uh, the the whole code that was executed within your method or the variables that were assigned values within your method um, they would actually be lost unless if you have a return statement within your methods uh, returning uh, the end results to whatever's called these methods however if you was to make an instance uh, variable those are variables that are declared with uh, at, at the beginning of your classes these variables could be accessed with uh, within all other methods within the class and that is a uh, advantage of it but if you was to use so many of these instance variables then it could get a bit of confusing when it comes to the naming because you cannot use the same same um, name for each um, each variable you declare um, I hope this tutorial helped you guys a bit to understand what the difference is between local and instance variables uh, please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel uh, and uh, thank you for looking at these tutorials bye